Hey guys, John here. So let me show you the new roof rack by Westcott Designs that I just installed on my fifth gen 4Runner. So hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So I installed Westcott Designs low profile full length roof rack onto my fifth gen 4Runner and holy smokes, I could not be happier. It looks really good. So before this, I had a LFD 7 8 roof rack. It stood up a bit. It had some golder hardware with it. So I did like the accents of it, but this roof rack, Man, super low profile. I have a bunch of other Westcott goodies on my 4Runner and I think it just really blends together and it'll look even better when I install the ladder on the back. So install, super, super simple. Uh, basically what I did is I just laid out the roof rack as I would be installing it. So I had the side rails on the sides, I had the crossbars in the middle, and I also then had the wind fairing up front. All the hardware comes in a nice packaged bag, everything individually set out. You have these smaller pieces right here for the little for these little allens that are gonna be all part of your crossbars. You have the bigger bolts right here with the nuts back behind them for your feet. And then you also have the bottle openers, Westcott Design Signature that they do on a lot of their products. Those are in their own separate container too. With leaving everything nice and loose too, I was able to do the driver's side first and then also the passenger side, basically assembling the whole rack on the floor. And then with the feet, I left the feet loose. So once the rack was pretty much assembled, I tightened down all the cross members to make lifting it onto the Forerunner a bit easier. And then with the feet, I left just slightly loose because we had to position it onto the little spacers that come in the kit. So once we lifted it up onto the Forerunner and everything was in the place that we wanted it to be, then we went ahead and put the Forerunner's stock bolts back through the spacings and then just cinched it down and making sure that there was a ton, a ton of silicone all up in it. Basically where these crossbars go, I mean, it's completely modular. So you could put it wherever you want, but I just, for now, there's the little tiny holes in between these longer ones. So you're not gonna do it in this one on the center that's way too big. You're gonna do it on these skinnier ones and I just put the crossbars all along the side. So you'll see in the B-roll too that when we put this on, I had the crossbar right here. Well, you can't do that because this is so low profile that it's gonna hit your fin right here. So you actually have to put this last crossbar at the very back, but it's still notched, so you're still able to put and slide stuff right onto it too. So there's two little holes right here that you can put this rear crossbar in. When you're looking at the feet, the feet, I put the bigger ones back here so we have a bit of room on the back. So I put the bigger feet right here, small feet, and then you have the little stubby feet that sit down right there with the 3M tape. So this roof rack, I mean, it is solid on top of the 4Runner. And then you can see down here too, when I took off the LFD one, I went ahead and cleaned up this area a little bit. It's still kind of dirty, geez. Um, I cleaned up this area a little bit and then I put fresh silicone. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 4Runner into the garage tonight for all the silicone to cure. But I went ahead and I put silicone all around it, shot silicone down up in it before putting uh, the factory bolts back in. So you are going to keep using your factory bolts. And then I also cleaned up the top of my roof too. But the nice thing is, is even though this is low profile, you could still fit your hand up underneath to clean it if you really want to. So we have a good amount of room here on the sides and even on the middle too, I could still fit my hand underneath. So when you're cleaning your 4Runner, uh, if you care about you know cleaning your roof and stuff, you're still able to access under these crossbars uh, a little bit to clean. So taking a look at the front of the wind fairing, it definitely sits pretty low to the 4Runner. And then we also have Westcott Designs cut into the wind fairing right there. But I went with this full length roof rack one because I just love Westcott Designs products. I have the sliders on the 4Runner. If you guys missed a previous video too, I lifted the 4Runner with their TRD pre collar kit, the one for the Bilstein suspension. So the 4Runner is sitting right and I will also be pairing it with a ladder here on the back. So I have the Westcott Designs ladder that I'm gonna throw on and that will be matched perfectly with their roof rack up here. So all of this because I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, a nice rooftop tent onto the 4Runner too. And hopefully the main goal is with the 4Runner lifted a little bit with this low profile roof rack, we'll still be able to get it up into the garage. So taking a closer look at the rack, I like how all this hardware is blacked out. I do also like to how the signature Westcott Designs bottle opener stands out in a uh, kind of stainless steel fashion. 
the one that they had at, on the Sequoia out at SEMA, how it was all gloss black or the one too, I believe it was like a powder coated red. That would look sick, like a powder coated red on this. That way it matches some of the accents and everything too, but looks really good. Super happy with it, a very simple install. So guys, that's it. Just wanted to show you a first look at the roof rack. We're gonna go ahead and install the ladder that will be in a separate video and then the rooftop tent after that. So guys, I will catch you in the next video. All right, see you later.